certainly appreciate the hospitality uh, by the people in the city of Pensacola, the state of Florida. It's been nice. I like the energy that, that's produced out here. And uh, I'm from New Orleans, so I've seen it there and I've seen it here and I, I like the energy here. It's good stuff, good vibes. So uh, we appreciate that, appreciate the opportunity. All right, um, um, moving forward from that, you know, um, man, we got, we ran up against a pretty good team today, certainly. Um, they were, um, they were hot and that's what being, um, being in this thing is about, man. It's a one game season, uh, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot that, that, um, that you can do um, that what you do in the, in the, um, in the regular season that it matters right now, you know, you, you, you get to this point, it's a one game season. So all, all your mistakes are magnified. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to give those guys credit, you know, hit big shots, uh, rebound the crap out of the ball. And, 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 uh, big fella was the best player on the floor tonight. Um, uh, but, uh, I love my team. I love their fight, the grit, the toughness, competitive nature. Um, and, um, and, and I'll, I'll ride with him any day. So, um, you know, I got Isaiah Small to my right, you know, fifth year senior. Uh, and, and I'm, I'm just appreciative of what he's done for the program. Um, and I have Shelby Adams to my left. I like to call him Mr. Bobcat to play more games than any, any other player to ever uh, suit up for us. So, uh, you know, love these guys and just, uh, just wanted a bad form, but we came up a little short today. Thank you, Coach. Questions in the room? Right here. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I think uh, um, obviously you know they have no shot blockers. We have to play a little with a little bit of poise. Um, no excuse at all. We were playing with a new ball, so there's a little bit of an adjustment right there. Uh, but at the end of the day, we got to catch the ball, see it in, um, trying to hold position and it's possession over position at that point. Got to squeeze the ball. We got to be better. So, uh, but you know, credit to them. Those guys had high hands, and you know they blocked a couple of shots. Probably got had us thinking a little bit more than what we typically do. But um, yeah, absolutely, we had time, so we, we should have executed and definitely needed to. Uh, right here. Yeah. yeah, activity. You know, just staying in it. You know, active hands. If you notice, we probably turned them over a little bit. Was able to get out some transitions, face the floor a little bit better. Um, and then play a little bit quicker. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you, 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 you don't want to be down 15, you know, so uh, it's, it's probably less about what sparked the comeback, but, but the things leading up to getting us down 15 that we're going to focus on. In the back. Yeah, obviously we're taking steps. You know, we got to this, we got to a, a few points throughout um, the last four or five years where we were close, knocking down the door. You know, uh, you know we're, um, you know we're 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 not where we're, we're where we want to be. You know, we like to be continuing to play, but I'm proud of these guys. You know, um, it's not a huge emphasis on on winning your your conference. You know, as much as it is on winning the tournament. So I understand that, and these guys probably feel like they. Uh, failed more so than succeeded. But at the end of the day, uh, we're taking steps, man. These guys are going to take the road less travel and going to do, you know, going to embrace hard and they'll be better because of this. Take a few questions um, from Zoom. Um, for both the student athletes, um, you beat uh, Louisiana both times during the regular season. Uh, what was different about today's game than those earlier two meetings? Really, this, um, trying to forget about the regular season and just focus on how it's a new season. And, you know, they probably changed their whole game plan up and we just stuck to our game plan. But really, they just had the more uplifted in the first half than we did. Anything to add? Yeah, for sure. I feel like, um, you know, energy just played a big factor in this game. Um, you could tell Louisiana had way more energy. Uh, than us throughout the whole game uh, consistently. So I feel like that was a big factor for sure. And uh, for Coach, uh, Mason and Isaiah picked up two fouls in the first half that um, you had to take them out. Do you think this 
contributed to the struggles throughout the game to capture momentum and rhythm offensively? Yeah, I mean, when two of your best players get in foul trouble, obviously it's going to cause some struggles. Uh, but we're not going to make comments about the referees. They got a hard enough job, you know, dealing with the personalities on the sideline. So, uh, you know, those guys did the best job they could. You know, they made the calls that they thought they saw, and we're going to move on. Thank you. But the good thing is we play another game. You know, we, we, we put in the work to, to put ourselves in a position where we can play another game. Uh, but when that time comes, you know, these guys know that I care about them. Uh, we're raising men first, man. You know, nothing comes before that. You know, the, these guys understand that, that that culture is first here. And we're going to deal with the mental, physical, and emotional health of the player first. All right, winning is a byproduct at this, at this institution. I have the complete support of the administration and the, and the president, and we're going to do things in a class, classy manner. So uh, when it comes down to it, man, this is bigger than basketball, but it's amazing the life lessons that you learn from the game of basketball. Everything don't bounce your way, and sometimes things do rim out in your life. But can you rebound, and can you bounce back? So that these guys know that. They hear me talk about this stuff every day, and they're going to tell their kids about these moments. So I'm proud of these guys, man. Um, these guys, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll have relationships with these guys for the rest of my life, and hopefully, and one day they can try to do the things that I try to do every day and walk in and inspire them to be great. A uh, couple of questions from Zoom for Coach: What changed near the end of the second half that slowed you down offensively? Yeah, I don't think that it was the end of the second half that slowed us down offensively. I mean. Uh, you know, obviously we we, we were slowing. Uh, I I thought they did a really good job early on, uh, of slowing us down offensively. Had us guessing a little bit, um, a, probably dribble penetration. I thought we I thought we passed up too many shots early on. You know, I thought we shot fake and drove it already into a sagging defense. So uh, we had great dribble penetration, and we were missing some clear obvious passes, and then passing up some shots. So. Uh, I, I don't think it was in the second half. I thought it was early on. I thought we made some some other adjustments in the second half that got us going a little bit. So, uh, but I mean, I, I got to look at the film. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe I'll, I'll look at the second half film a little bit closer, and maybe I'm wrong. Another question uh, from Zoom for Shelby. You mentioned there was a lack of energy. Uh, why do you feel like that was? That's a great question. Um, I don't know. It's probably just. We just didn't have our energy up today. I feel like, um, you know, uh, like you said earlier, we had a lot of calls that didn't go our way. So maybe that just stripped us, stripped us of our energy um, and played with our mental a little bit. So that's probably why I think. Another uh, media Zoom question for Coach. You talked about Louisiana being hot. You'd also um, won nine games in a row as well. How disappointing was this after losing in the tournament last year also? Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really keep up with our records of how many games we, we win. You know, I, I'm trying to go one and one every I'm one and oh every day. That's just me. So, um, yeah, I, I, I know we, we, we were winning games and that's good. It's a new season and, and the goal is to go one and oh. So um, certainly, you know, kudos. I mean, it's Bob Marlin. He's a he's a you know, he's a good coach. You got a good team, you know, uh, widely regarded as one of the most talented teams in our conference. But at the end of the day, you know, we didn't do the things that we needed to do to be successful. And they did. So, um, you know, I, I think the credit has to go to them once again.